It is recording. Yep. Great, lovely. What a way to introduce uh, two men in a buffet, trying to figure out how we're going to work the camera. We are here. It is Mongolian Buffet. This is where we celebrate Happy New Year's. It's uh, 2013. And me and my son here, Sage, two men in a buffet, we have a tendency to go around to all the different types of buffets and we try them out. Every year for the New Year's, my son and I, we always like to come to Mongolian Buffet and there's a reason why. Tell them why. Uh, because we usually like to have lobster. Now lobster, we always like to have because it's a very rare treat and it's expensive. Yeah. Now what we also got going on is Sage, as you can see he's wearing his glasses. Those aren't just regular glasses, those are the Sage cam. That's yeah. actually a camera, so you're going to be able to see all the food that's up on the buffet when we go up there. You can see it through the eyes of Sage. We're going to give you uh, different types of etiquette and proper etiquette to use when you go to buffets. Uh, things to do, things not to do. And we got a couple other little tricks up our sleeves as normal. We're going to be introducing what we call the Sage Special Challenge. My son here, Sage, is going to be getting a plate of food. And one of the things that he's going to eat everything but one item off that plate. That plate, on that, uh, that item on the plate is going to be eaten by me whether I like it or not. But we're gonna give it a shot. So we're gonna go grab our first plate and we're gonna see what's going on. Got it? Yeah. Are you ready? Hold up. Not ready yet. Now I'm ready. Now he's ready. All right, we're out. We'll come back with some food for you. Sage is gonna start filming what's up there. See you in a few. Sage does it. He gets a lot all at one time. Now me personally, that is not the way I roll. How's the buffet look up there today? Foodie. Foodie. Very nice. Interesting. So now the way we have a little rule here that I like to follow, and I follow it a lot, 
If you get it, you eat it. Everything on this plate must be consumed basically by Sage. Because I'm not going to eat it because I get my own stuff. I'm not helpless. Well, now I'm going to go up and I'm grab mine and I'm going to show you how I do things. I hate to waste food and we do everything that we can not to waste food. So don't waste food. Right, here's a little bit of the difference between me and everybody else in society. When I go and I grab a plate of food from a buffet, I know Sage and I will be here for a long, long time. Because this is an event. This isn't just dinner or lunch. See, I don't go with the whole big plate of food all in one shot. Sage does. Now with me, I just grab a little bit here and a little bit here and I get a little sample of everything. As you can see, because I know the food ain't going nowhere. I can go up anytime I want. We have our sushi. You gotta have your sushi. Sushi's awesome. Some people don't like the raw fish. I like it. Got the craw crabs kicking today. Really good. And the jalapeno sauce. Awesome. Tastes good. Now here's the funny part. Over here we have the lobster. We told you it's a lobster buffet and we meant it. They have real lobster. Now here's the bizarre thing. It is covered in a gravy. Why would they cover lobster in gravy? Still haven't figured that out yet. But we got the secret weapon. And the secret weapon is... Boom! A paper towel. We bring our own paper towel. Why? Because you gotta get all the gravy off the lobster. Stop at the dollar store on the way, pick yourself up a roll of paper towel, and you're good to go for the rest of the day. Another thing that also helps out when you're hanging out at a Mongolian buffet, or any seafood buffet that has a lot of shells, when you go and you grab your plate, grab Two an extra one. You grab the extra one so you can discard your shells and it doesn't get into it. Yep, bingo. Clicking it like that. Yeah, so we're going to sit here and we're going to enjoy this and you'll love it to death. Um, let's see. There is no video editing. This is total gorilla filming. I'm going to show you exactly how to eat the lobster correctly using the paper towel. Actually, there's two ways. What are two ways? Usually you can just lick off the stuff like I do, or you can just do Dad's way and just take the paper towel and dry it off. Yeah, let me try it my way first. Hold Here that, hold that. Hold that. Hold this is real filming, there is no editing. Get your paper towel going big time. It's a dollar. I mean, it ain't gonna kill you. The best thing that I like to do is I always grab it. Because I don't like getting my hands slimy all the time. Sometimes we'll show up at a buffet and we will forget that they have lobster or something in a gravy. And then we're forget, struck stranded. We forget the using paper towel this. and then we're screwed. <laughs> And our hands always end up getting slimy and slimy and slimy. See, now we can actually work with it. Look at that there. Look at that there. That's what we're talking about. Now, perfect. My hands ain't slimy and I got an awesome piece of lobster. Look at that water. This is a happy new year, 2013. Mmm. Lovely. See, hands still clean. I can grab something else. Then you just put it on the plate. Just drop it on the plate. What do you do? When in doubt, grab more paper towel. We, we will use a whole roll today, there's no doubt about it. Like when don't we? Yeah, exactly. Another thing that we got over here is the sushi. I don't know how many of you like the sushi or not. Sushi is actually one of the best appetizers they got at Chinese buffets. I always like to use the wasabi. Now here's the funny part. When you go to various different types of Chinese buffets, because that's like our favorite order Chinese buffets, mm -hmm. the wasabi changes. And to be quite honest with you, the honest truth is that it's not even real wasabi. When you go to places like this, the wasabi is actually uh, a paste made of horseradish with some green food coloring. Because regular, real wasabi is like so expensive, it could probably pay rent on the place just to get an ounce of it. <laughs> but always look at the fish, make sure it looks good. If it's starting to look like really uh, brown or something, it's been staying out there too long. But the Mongolian buffet always has some great sushi. They got all different types of varieties, even deep fried sushi. And you got the seaweed wrap in it, and always you got a good source of vegetables. I try not to eat a whole ton of it, only one or two at a time, because of the rice. You can eat the rice, it expands in your stomach, and you get full a lot faster. When two men in a buffet, when we come out and decide to wreck a place... Hi. No, come here. You can say hi. Hi, this is our waitress. How are we? Hi. Hi. Yes, we're filming a uh, television show. It's called Two Men in a Buffet. We're going to be uh, hopefully on television. We're going to send it out to company. This is a phenomenal waitress. I like her a lot. You'll see her at the table here and there. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Anyhow, they also got the greatest staff here. They're always so nice and generous with us. 
Any other man buffet? Where were we? We were talking about sushi. Yep. Uh, the dad got distracted fight. with the girl, like always. Like always. Never fails. Always, <laughs> always get me distracted. Get me in trouble. But yeah, you got seaweed wrap going here. And like I said, I only eat one or two pieces at a time when I go up there and get it because it expands your stomach. And Sage and I will sit here. We, 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 this is a place where not only do we eat, not only do we have our dinner, but this is also where we talk about problems or we just laugh and have fun. And believe it or not, he's the one that came up with the idea for two men in a buffet. Notice, no other uh, Food Network doesn't have a buffet show. Uh, Cooking Channel doesn't have a buffet show. Why do they keep boycotting all the buffet shows? Buffets are the greatest thing in the world. You got pizza buffet, you got regular home style cooking buffet. Old country. Oh, oh, yeah, there's Chinese, another place that we're going to hit. Japanese. Japanese buffet. We're going to join as the uh, course of the year goes on. We'll be dragging you to all these buffets and tell you what the cool part is. But again, um, well, I'm getting tired of sitting here talking and I ain't eating, so I'm going to sit here and eat. So we're going to take a little pause and then we're going to come back with Sage's Challenge. Sage's Special Sample Challenge for Brian. Oh, Lord. I can't wait. Uh, what am I going to eat now? Yeah. Now, let's see what I can put for a special challenge. This is one of those closest things I can find here. Usually, if I'm doing this, then I all. Secret challenge to find. There's gotta be one of them. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Good appetizing. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What can I cover it up with? Just going to bury it up here. Could be a cartouche. <coughs> Put some more cab on. Oh man, get out of my pants. Stay. You won't know what hit him. Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. And I was being sarcastic. Okay. Enough with the disruptions. And we're back. And I have the secret food challenge in here buried somewhere. Okay, like I said, I have the secret food buried in here somewhere that he's gonna need to try. I picked out one of the grossest things ever that you would probably see on that camera with my glasses. Yes, that. The buffet cam. Yep. <laughs> my seeing eyeglasses that you can see when I'm walking through the buffet choosing out my food. So Virtual buffet. <laughs> Virtual buffet in 3D. Virtual buffet. Yeah, too bad they can't take the food. Yep. My food. You want to eat the food. So like I said, it's buried in here and when I get to it, I will bring you back. See you for now. Now it's time for the secret dare challenge that I have for Dad. He's gonna be happy about this. I got him there. <laughs> oh, what is a little dumpling thingy? It's actually really good. I don't know the exact name of it. I've had these before. It's like a regular dumpling on the outside. You get their stuff. Uh, I think that's pork, if I'm not mistaken. But this is actually uh, almost in just about every Chinese buffet you go to. And 
thank God the state spared me. I was afraid when I read something else was totally horrendous. But it's our first time, so yeah, I'm giving you. <laughs> Give me a break. Gi yeah, giving you a first time. All right, uh, cheers to you. You pig. You're such They're a pig. Bite yeah, no, everything's bite sized to you. Yeah, big mouth. Yeah, I'm guessing that's where I got my big mouth. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> and that was a Secret Dare Challenge. But next time when you see us, there's going to be a heck of a lot worse. I'm oh, like, looking forward to that. <laughs> I bet you are. I bet you are. Yeah. And. <laughs> there she goes, food. Okay, that's all for now. We'll be back later. We have some tricks for each other no, that we'll probably do to each other. Okay, good. ciao. Now it's time for what I like to call a little dad prank. As you see, dad is not here, so he left his coffee here. So, what I like to do with a little bit of salt. Put in his gaffy. Let's see if he notices this. Now there ain't that much coffee in there. Hmm. This is gonna be a good reaction when he comes back. So I'm just gonna wait for him. Stir it up a little. It could use a little bit more salt. Good. Now we're just gonna have to wait for him to come back, so we'll come back when he comes back. He is coming back. I'm gonna see how he likes this coffee after I put a little bit of salt in it. Wonder if he's gonna notice something. Yeah, we're not allowed to smoke inside, so he goes outside to smoke. There he comes. There he goes. Okay, I guess we have to wait until he gets his food again. Hmm. It's gonna be pretty funny. Have you ever? I've had most of you all play pranks like this before. So now's my turn. He's never gonna expect it. He expects me to drink his milk, like one of those mixing milks that you put in your coffee. But I never expect this. I never did this to him, but yet it's gonna be so funny. So yeah, we're just going to wait here, anxiously, for it to happen. It's been one minute now, still waiting. Thank you. I just took my plate. I want people to take my plate. And we'll wait again. That's what's still waiting. I'm just going to add a little bit more. <laughs> that would almost be bad if I left the spoon in there. Okay, it's been two minutes now. I still wait out oh, here. Go. Hello, Dad. What's up? Not much. You got that recording, or is it just off? Yeah, I'm recording. Why are we? Oh, okay. Well, hello again. I don't know what you're filming. I'm over here. What are you doing? Oops, filming sorry. The paper, filming the paper towel. Yeah, I'm filming the paper towel. So far, so good. <laughs> Having a random time here. What are we laughing at? <laughs> something tells me he's up to something. I have no idea what it is. He always gets me on stuff. <laughs> Some part about going to buffets is that I think you spend a lot of quality time. Which is why we go. It's not, not like an in-out thing where you sit down and 45 minutes later you're gone. No, we make a day of it. You might as well. What else we do? 
What? What is the name of Foley? Are you doing? <laughs> uh, what are you asking? <laughs> I wish I knew what you were doing. Did somebody tell him what, what the hell he's doing? Email me, message me, I don't care what, 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 what. Fuck up, fuck up. Let's see, what else did I show you today? Uh, <laughs> this guy always gets the same stuff almost all the time. I like to, uh, I'm from the sea, it's me. I eat seafood, that's what I do. Seafood diet. Seafood diet, yeah. Which is actually bizarre because right after, t starting tomorrow, we have to diet. Stupid New Year's resolution. Anyhow, um... <laughs> I really wish you'd stop giggling. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. The last thing we need to do is bore the audience. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know what you're laughing at. <laughs> did you put something in my drink? <laughs> no. No. Don't mess with a man's coffee. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> We're filming. What? what you film yourself laughing because I have no idea what you are doing. Hey, stop it. Yeah, we're attacking the camera. That's why I'm not <laughs> Oh, well, I got everybody's attention. Um, sorry if the audio is bad. We're sitting right above a speaker. Uh, of course, it's Detroit's best variety, which is pure garbage. It's kind of funny. This place always changes. I like to go to Chinese buffets that actually play Chinese music. They actually like, totally set the tone of everything. Not here. They play the crappiest music they can possibly find. Like I said, all right. Anyhow, I'm gonna sit back and eat. All right, that's it. Everything's off. It's crappy day. Everyone eats crappy day. That's one of the most annoying songs that he will ever play. For some unknown reason, I feel like I have to sing that song every time we go to Chinese buffet. Either tell me what you're doing or turn it off. One of the two. Uh, we're just watching you eat. Yeah, that's exactly what everybody wants to see. <laughs> yeah, quality entertainment. <laughs> so far, if you like the show, message us. That's what we should add to the show. We will take any suggestion you got. <laughs> Seeing as how this is the first time and this is done totally guerrilla video. None, nothing, nothing is scripted. We came up with a couple small ideas, but that's about it. We yep. want to make this a success. The best way to do that is to have you message us and tell us what we can do to make this a better video. I like meat. Yeah, we established that. <laughs> and crap. You just missed it. The crap heat all over Sage. Yeah, uh -huh. too bad it's a leg. When dead crabs attack. It made me bleed a couple of times. Yeah, you gotta be careful sometimes with the crab. A lot of times the shells will come back and bite you in the butt. Um, Even though they don't have any mounts. You gotta peel and eat shrimp. Uh, I think the best way to do that, I always say, is to one, start by taking off the legs and peel back the shell. Just give, a, just give the tail a little bit of a push, like that. And then you got yourself a full piece of shrimp. I don't like ruining my food with cocktail sauce and crap like that. I like the original taste of everything. That's what she said. Don't say that. <laughs> so we'll be back in a few. I might take the camera up there and uh, show you everything that we got. Maybe we'll catch up making sushi. That'd be cool. Give you a sushi lesson on how to make sushi. Always fun. Cool. See you in a few. Peace. Oh, cool. hi there. Back again, two men in a buffet. I want to show you something that it's not really new, but it's something that it will help you eat crab legs a lot quicker, faster, and you get probably more meat out of it. How many of you know about crackers? I hate crackers. These things take absolutely forever, and it always ends up smushing the crap out of your meat. So what we do is we uh, have our own little way of doing it. You know, first you just crack it off and be really good right there. I'm going to show you what's called the fork method. See how you got this little piece that's sitting right here like this? When you go to crack it with that, it only cracks it in half. You don't want to do that because it'll ruin the meat. Fork method. Take a, it's got a little hole right there in your leg. Just shove one end of the fork in and begin to pull up. Now, beware of flying shells. It will happen. And believe me, it hit me a couple of times. Yeah, it does. Flying shells are a pain in the butt. So you got your little hole there. 
make an incision all the way down, kind of like a doctor. Make an incision, scoop it out, boom. There's some lobster or crab for you. That's a great way to get all the meat out of your crab legs. Works fantastic, and you get to eat more crab legs. While I'm on the topic of uh, uh, different things here and there, I want to show you this. They actually have deep fried sushi now. I guess it's cooked in a tempura. Um, it was some, I just noticed it the other uh, last time we were up here. They're really good. If you like sushi, I suggest that you try the deep, deep fried sushi. It's like really unique. Um, there is nothing that they will deep fry these days. Very true. Uh, while I got your attention again, crawfish. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm not from New Orleans, so I don't really know exactly the correct way to eat them. But the way I like to do is I just whip that off and just quickly pop the tail off when it wants to work. Sometimes when they're overcooked, boom, get the whole piece. Dip it in some butter or do what I do and just go raw. Technically, it's not raw since no. it's cooked. You know what I mean. We don't stop on it. So, there's a couple little tips for you on how to do the crab legs, the new deep fried sushi, which I'm kind of like new with, and of course, how to get all the meat as much as you can out of the fish. I don't know if this is New Orleans method, but hey, it works for us when it wants to. It doesn't always work all the time, but it did today. We'll see you in a few. Coming up next is my secret challenge for my special dad. Oh. Yeah, you're going to be in a surprise, aren't you? Okay. Okay, right now we are getting a little bit of ice cream, but the one thing that I hate is that when they're cold, because I hate cold ice cream. <coughs> so, so, the bad feelings. Ice cream or something. So I'm not going to come down with it. Usually I go to here. Yeah, they barely have anything that I like. And here it's not really all that good. Ice cream machine. <laughs> Wonder what's wrong with it. Oh well, we'll show it next time once it's up and running. Sorry about that. Hey, it's me again. Yeah, we're just about ready to be finished. And first of all, we have to have dessert. And second of all, after dessert, we have to clean the table. As you see, it's all clean. Eh, paper towels work also when you actually clean the thing. So, yeah, make it easier for the waitresses to clean up by putting your stuff onto one side, wipe off the table, and get all the straps that are on the table, off the table, and onto the plate. However you do it, I don't know how, but you do it how your way, and I'll do it my way. Just make it clean for once. Thank you very much. You need help? Need, do you need help? I need help. Do you know? Yeah. Like, do you want do you want me to take the dishes up for you? That's right. No. Never mind. Are you, are you like coming back for these? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, because we're just about done. Yeah, because we're just about done. So you can take these up. I don't want any more. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know what they say, but. Just act like you're actually trying to actually understand what they're saying. Uh, but, uh, but hey, some will understand you, some won't. Right now I'm just waiting for Brian to come back with his dessert, and we're gonna be explaining everything. Wherever he is, so we'll come back to you after when we're done with desserts. So. Alright, Mongolian Buffet, uh, New Year's Day, 2013, day one. So where are we at? How was today? Buffet. Yeah, I know that, but how, how, what do you think today is? How do you think the buffet was today? Buffet, it was pretty good, I gotta admit, it was. Lobster and all that. 
it, it was good, but, um, you know, I, I've been noticing a lot of people were standing around waiting for the lobster. See, we know how to play the game, though. That's the thing. We know when to get here and when not to get here. We got here at like 11.15, no, 11.30, I'm sorry. So we got first dibs on just about everything. We know yeah. we know the game. We know how to do that. A lot of people that have been showing up after that, like say about right now it's uh, 3 o'clock. Oh, hello again. Yeah, our favorite waitress. Um, it was at 3 o'clock now. Uh, roughly at about 1.30, people were standing and waiting on that lobster. We have, yeah, a floater over there. A guy that just like, he's walking around the same area. Waiting on the lobster, you had a guard over there, the guy that just stands there. And yeah. Then you got guys like me and Sage, we're the scavengers. Because we hate wasting food. We don't do that. If we walk by and we see a bunch of people standing there and there's like a couple small pieces and they don't want them, we'll take them. We'll take them and eat them. I'm not letting it go to waste. While we're eating lobster, they're standing and waiting for them. I don't know. And then there's also two other types of people, but that's when they were actually eating. Mm -hmm. There's the wasters, and then there's the keepers. The wasters are actually when they waste food. I mean, like, they take a lot of food, but only half of it, and then just leave it on the table. Not going to happen with us two. And then the keepers, like us two, we actually eat all the food and keep it in our stomachs. Keepers. Keepers, that's what we call them. That's perfect. I love that one. Um, another downfall that we had was there, the ice cream machine wasn't working. Or at least right now, we don't think it's Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's still working. They said the ice cream machine was down. You know, when, when you're... She can't understand this just much enough. I don't know if it's just, just, um, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, you got you got to have stuff up and running, especially on a day like today. So we missed out on the ice cream, not good about that. They're putting, for, for dessert, Land. they're putting the clam. The uh, donuts were hard as a rock, but the other desserts are pretty good. I thought they were okay. That's good. Some of the other entrees that we had, like the duck was really good. I tried some of the duck, the beef teriyaki. That was really good. Get your head up. He said duck. Donald. Anyhow. Um, the sushi was really good today. Um, everything seemed to go over okay, but it still wasn't the best day here. I really don't think. Oh no. Now, now here's the thing. Today's total came to uh, $41.32. $41.32. That's a lot. Now, all in all, out of five forks, I'm only going to give it three forks. It was an average day, but it's the lack of the lobster for the other customers, and uh, the ice cream machine was down. That's a big no-no with me. But I give it three spoons. You're doing the spoons. I'll do the forks. Got it. I'll fork it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're both on an average day. It was just like an average day. For me, the price was high, but we know how to play the game. We know when to get the lobster. We know what time to be here. And we also know how to bring our own paper towel. Utensils. Utensils and everything. We, we do it ourselves. So anyhow, thank you very much for watching Two Men in a Buffet. Uh, next time we'll be hitting a new buffet and we'll let you know what's going on with that. Let you know how it is, how the surface is. Another thing that's down, this damn music has got to go. It is so loud, it's driving me nuts all day. Ugh. Like I really need to hear another Stevie Nicks song. Primity. All right, well, we'll Lady Gaga. Or Lady Gaga. Da, 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 Knock it off. <laughs> I, I, I will throw coffee in your face. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching Two Men and a Buffet. Write us, let us know what you think. How can we improve the show? What can we do to make you watch it more? Just have them email us or get a hold of us. We're more than happy to use all your ideas. Thank you very much. We'll see you at the next buffet. May the forks be with you.